Because it is so uncommon for us to receive many quotations from James Spader outside of new episodes of The Blacklist, we will eagerly welcome any, and all of them should they come our way. For the purposes of this narrative, that unavoidably includes the dissemination of what the actor had to say in a fresh video that was created by NBC on their own initiative. It's the one in which the actor says that he could see long-term success for the program from the very moment he saw the pilot. The difficult part was simply finding a way to get to those final stages of production. It's the one in which the actor says that he could see long-term success for the program from the very moment he saw the pilot. You can watch the video over on this channel. And while you're doing so, it's vital to pay close attention to how James Spader says that Raymond Reddington may be living on borrowed time. After all, for quite some time now, the program has been building up to some type of ending for this character, and we do believe that all of us need to be mindful of the likelihood that this story will end on a tragic note. When all that we've seen over the course of the years is taken into consideration, why wouldn't it be the case? Keep in mind, too, that some of the people who were originally on the blacklist are now after Redding because of the role he played in getting them arrested and sentenced to prison. Even if Wu Jing is the current head of that gang, there is a good chance that he is not the only person involved with that organization. This is a huge possibility. There is a chance that during the course of time, several more notable villains will emerge from their secluded location. This is a possibility. In this series, you can also receive quotes from the show's other series regular, and it's incredible to hear from so many of the people who have been there since the very first season. The video can be found here. We are of the opinion that sentimentality does play a part in this final chapter. Nevertheless, we are also of the opinion that the idea of endings and beginnings is a significant one. After all is over, are we going to receive anything in return for the trouble that we've gone through? Without a doubt, but there is one more thing to think about, and that is the question of whether or not these are going to be the answers that we have been looking for all along. What do you think will happen to the main character by the time the tenth season of The Blacklist has concluded? I sincerely hope that watching the video was enjoyable for you. Make sure to leave a comment below immediately after watching and share your thoughts. After you have finished, leave a like on the video as well to show your support for the channel. I am grateful for both your time and your attention. See you at the next video.